Hello everyone, we are going to solve practice problem 15.3 here. So find the Laplace transform of this function. Let me rewrite the function. Ft is equal to the quantity of cosine 2t plus e to the minus 4t, 4 multiplied by t, and then this multiplied by u. Okay, so now we are asked to find Laplace transform and Laplace transform of a function is defined for t is greater than or equal to zero. And remember that if we define the definition of ut, so ut is a piecewise function, so it is a zero when t is less than zero but it is one when t is greater than or equal to one so for t is greater than or equal to zero this function is equal to one right okay now let me rewrite re that function but for t is greater than or equal to zero so we'll have f t is equal to cosine of 2t plus e to the minus 4t. So this is for this time period. Okay, now we have this function and we are asked to find the Laplace transform. Let's use blue here. It's not blue, it's purple. But yeah, okay. So the Laplace transform is usually denoted as capital F and then as a function of S. And then we have an addition here. So in the frequency domain, we also have an addition because of the linearity property here. So first, we need to find out the Laplace transform of cosine of 2t. And the Laplace transform of cosine function is given in this table. So we will have cosine of omega t is equal to this function here but with our omega our omega is given here which is 2 so our omega is 2 so let's rewrite that Laplace transform of cosine omega t so we will have s divided by s squared plus omega squared our omega is 2 and this 2 is squared okay so now we have plus in the frequency domain we also add the function and then e to the minus 40 e to the minus 40 is in this form right so we have this form here e to the minus 80 but our a is equal to 4 so we will have 1 over s plus a and our a is 4 okay so now we can simplify this fraction by making the denominator the same. So f s is equal to I multiply this term by s plus four. So we have s multiplied by s plus four and divide it by s squared plus two squared multiplied by s plus four. Okay. And then plus, I multiply this term by s squared plus 4. So we will have s squared plus 2 squared. 2 squared is 4. And then we will have s plus 4 multiplied by s squared plus 2 squared on 4. Okay, I think I can replace that 2 squared with 4. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay, so now we have that one. And now I can write the denominator as one big denominator. So let's write a long division here. Then we will have s squared plus 4 multiplied by s plus 4. Okay, now I want to distribute this s into s plus 4, so I will have s squared plus 
other s and then plus this function here f plus s squared plus 4 and now we can add up that s squared together so we'll have f s is equal to 2 s squared plus 4 s plus 4 divided by s squared plus 4 multiplied by s plus 4 and this is the final answer and if we check the answer of the problem here we have the same answer here okay uh, and that's a way to end this video thank you